Will you marry me? Mary Jane! She I really did that. Spider-Man in my previous video. But what I didn't tell y'all is there's one character from the Spider-Verse that I absolutely <laughs> despise. Solely because of how much they put <laughs> Peter Parker through. It's not any diabolical <laughs> evildoers like Green Goblin, Carnage, or worst of all, Mary the wall. Jane. But possibly worse. Mary Jane Watson from the worst 2002 love interest You're of all time. Why? why? What did she do that could be so bad? Well, the I'm fact that she jumped out the window just to see if this this loved her after he proposed is nuts bro I'm going obviously to go he loves every you toxic and manipulative thing she did to peter parker and movie. not just him either <laughs> but all the men she was with and by the end of this video you'll finally understand why she's the most toxic woman ever of all time bro i fucking hate her oh boy yeah First, I'm gonna start it off oh, with the original yeah. Spider Man movie, Spider Man 1. You would expect this being Glider the first series, movie but... for it to be a little more calm, but uh, no. She's a bad person. So, first thing we see from her is. Bro, I can't believe this nigga was chasing Mary Jane when he had that badass. What was her name? Uh, 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 uh. I don't remember her name. She was cooking. She was baking cookies for this nigga and giving him milk and holding him down. And he's still chasing Mary Jane. Get the fuck. That she stops the bus for Peter. You know, very nice act. You know, selfless act. And you realize she's oh, dating nah, the dog. bully. And that pretty much negates any act of kindness she does for Peter or anybody else who gets bullied by him. And it's like, oh, yep. maybe she doesn't know. No, no. She knows. She does rough. it right in front of her. And she doesn't care. You think a little flash. Stop. It's going to do anything. Then nope. after Peter gets his powers, we find out uh, she, she doesn't have the best of, of dad so uh ma makes total sense now and peter being the good guy that he is <laughs> you know, he is. just tries to chop it up with her to cheer her up a little and it was working too i mean look at the face you could tell she was falling in love and then this nigga wanna honk his horn like check out my new ride or not and eventually she Bro, breaks up, up with a fucking on graduation day of a pt too, cruiser talking about check out my that's ride like equivalent to telling your grandma she has cancer on her birthday that's foul <laughs> but i can't lie it's not the worst thing she's even done yet because then nope. she gets with peter's best friend harry but him getting with mj was probably the worst decision he made because she does not care about him at all the so first thing she does is let peter know that she's <laughs> dating his best friend and then she tells peter we should go out for lunch sometime don't tell harry mm, okay okay kind of <laughs> really really sus but it's not true <laughs> I don't think people realize how messed up this kiss is. Okay, so one, she doesn't know the dude. So she doesn't know it's Peter. So as a viewer, you shouldn't feel happy for Peter. She thinks she's kissing some other dude. Two, she's cheating that's on true. Harry. And three, she doesn't know the dude. Again, that's, that's nasty. That is nasty. That nigga can have herpes and shit. saved her once? You're telling me the homeless dude I gave money to yesterday should be trying to make out with me just because I gave him a dollar? And the worst part about <laughs> this is that right before this, she was still flirting with Peter. So it seemed like she was going to cheat regardless peter asked how her Absolutely. and harry were doing she said why so interested like bitch. and the most messed up part is there is not an ounce of remorse in her face we nope. don't get to see her reflecting on her why so interested like you don't know that this nigga has a crush on you yo i hate mary jane bro actions if anything she's open about how much she loves spider-man she was on the phone with harry talking about yeah he's just incredible like, oh yeah so incredible but uh, anyways uh, i gotta go to bed don't let the bed bug <laughs> This scene right here is nuts, bro. I remember I remember this because it's like, bro, you were on the phone with me, your man. And I'm like, don't let the bed, and then you just hang up the phone. Bitch, I'm breaking up with you, bro. I, like you just Harry? glazed another man all up in my ear. And then when I try to tell you good night, you hang up midway through my sentence. Hell, nah, get her out of here, bro. Get her out of here. He did not catch a break. Next thing that happens is that he walked in on Peter, pretty much risen up his girl. And again, I got to backtrack. She pulled her Mary hands Jane back. came talking to Peter, who she knows for sure at this point. If she doesn't know, she's just, she's just, the Who she knows for sure likes her. She came to him to talk about how much she loves Spider-Man while still dating Harry. And look how happy she is to talk about this. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm glad Goblin kidnapped her because she deserved at least a little bit of bad karma for this. I don't even know how she survived this whole situation. Her forearm strength must be insane. Look at that catch. Look at it. And then by the end of the first that was movie, when nuts. her and Harry are broken up, she Makes decides you wish you were the best place for her to confess her feelings to Peter is that Harry's I am Spider-Man, actually. Wow. You don't know what Standing I do at ovation. night. We're off to an amazing start. Uh, 
Oh, boy. So at the end oh, of the first boy, movie, yeah. after Mary Jane confessed her feelings to Peter, he Spider Man 2 is my favorite Spider Man movie of all and time. Since I'm, I'm Spider Man, but you don't know that, so I just gotta do my own thing. So the first time we see her is at Peter's birthday party with no. her, Harry, and Peter, which is like probably so awkward. Ugh, I don't think I'd be She able. looked Peter's terrible in this movie. I'm like, with don't her, get me Harry wrong, I Peter, think Kirsten is Dunst like, is like a cool cur like a cool person, but like she looked terrible in this movie. Oh my gosh. And like, let's talk about the first one where her, like, in that rain scene. Saggy ass titty. All right, um, so awkward. I don't think I'd be able mid to do it. And Mary Jane starts this movie off hot. I cannot hold you. That this is side the most part was nuts, bro. Been. They so should have gave her bangs instead go or some shit. And try forcing him to confess that he loves her. She was busting out all the stops, the face touch, the eye contact, and she almost got him too. She had my boy Peter saying, "Oh boy, yeah." MK oh Ultra level was a manipulation, but Peter held it down and didn't say a word. He didn't confess any feeling. And I know this got her tight. Look at her face. And right after, she does one of the most petty things i've ever seen in cinema history she immediately walks away and says by the way i'm seeing somebody and just sits there and waits for my boy peter's reaction do you know how Wait, messed is? up that i think he's gonna get to the part of like the the kiss but as a dumb kid fine shit i yeah i guess bro do you understand do you remember the kiss she married this nigga and tried to do the spider-man kiss with him and it didn't fucking work and and now 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 she like oh i can't marry you no more the fuck that is like let that happen to me I and, might then, just and then and then she got mad that peter did that shit to gwen stacy like she didn't do it fucking first oh i hate mary jane bro oh i hate her i might just i woke up Chris breezy. breezy so in this movie mary uh, jane's uh, an actress she... so you know she has plays and stuff and she really wanted peter to go to hers but you know spider-man stuff comes look up. at davenport y'all ever watch lab rats Look at my boy Davenport. That's crazy, yo. I never realized he was in this until after I watched Lab Rats and came back to this movie. And Peter wasn't able to make it. And MJ, well, she took this to the heart. Because next time she sees Peter, you know what happens? She agrees to get married to the dude just to get back at Peter. You know how messed up this is to Peter and to the guy she's with? He's just an innocent bystander yeah, it is him. in the way. Like, she's just using oh, him. Gonna show the There's kiss. that scene where she tells him to lay a certain way so she could kiss him and pretend like she's kissing Spider-Man. Pretty much confirming that she's still thinking about Spider-Man and Peter while with this dude. Then later in the movie, she's telling Peter again, you love me. Just say it you love me and when peter tells her no Classic. she's like kiss me go ahead kiss me mind you she's still engaged to the dude the ring is literally Classic, right there bitch. they show it in the shop then she gets kidnapped again and after peter comes to save her and he convinces doc ock that he's good again and all this stuff the whole place starts collapsing on them and peter and side note he convinces doc ock that he's good again and all this stuff the whole <laughs> side note bro this scene this scream right here that was fucking hilarious, bro. He starts collapsing on them, and Peter's holding it up. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry I keep pausing it, y'all. This shit pissed me off. She's over here sitting under it, having a full-blown conversation with this nigga. Like, bitch, if you don't move, this shit is heavy. Can you get the fuck out the way? By himself, the whole place, and she's under him, and she has the audacity to say, You do love me. Get out the way! <laughs> and at the end of the movie, after they do all this lovey dub, what movie, is he swinging on? Get out the way! And at the end, yo, that's true. What the fuck is this nigga swinging on? They in the middle of the fucking water. End of the movie, after Boy, they do all this lovey on a lamp post. confess love stuff, she does one of the most messed up things I've seen in my life. So at this point, we know the guy she's married to, Jameson. She she doesn't love him. We know that she's in love with Peter. So a normal person would call off the wedding and just get with. Peter. She waited. She waited till that nigga was at the altar to to run away and get with Peter. When she could have easily just been like, hey man, I don't want to marry you anymore. Peter. But Mary Jane says she's an actress and she wants to be in this fantasy world where she gets to be dramatic as hell and all and all this stuff. She waits till the day of their wedding and then just runs away to Peter. Probably leaving to do with years and years, and I'm talking years of Ooh, emotional so damage. damage. Like that man is DTB for life. He ain't trusting no one. And by the end of this movie, she confesses to Peter again and she pretty much says they'll be together no matter what. Him being Spider Man, him being Peter Parker, it doesn't matter. They're gonna get through it all together. And if you watch the third movie, you know that's cap. Yep, yeah, absolutely. From a cinematic standpoint and from the Mary Jane standpoint, this is probably the worst one. Still my favorite. Yeah. So at the beginning of this movie, Mary Jane's still an actress, but now she's like big, like Lizzo, fame-wise. And her and Peter are... <laughs> 
He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that at all. Now, like nothing could go wrong. Peter was even ready to get engaged and everything. But then, you know, it's Mary Jane. It's Mary so Jane. nothing could ever be normal in a relationship. She gets fired, which wasn't her fault. Okay. It's nuts because she got fired and took that shit out on Peter like it was nobody's fucking business, bro. Hey, that's normal. But normally people who get fired don't start to envy their partner. Because that's exactly what Mary Jane does. She starts to get mad at Peter for being Spider-Man. When in the last movie, she literally just accepted that he was Spider-Man and there are things that come with being Spider-Man. So now she's bitch. jealous? But let me slow down. I'm not going to act like Mary Jane is all bad because because Peter... Peter was tweaking in this movie. He really kissed me. Gwen Stacy in a really crowd full me. of people knowing his girlfriend is right there. Like he just said bye to her a second ago and he still kissed her in front of everyone. And I thought he would apologize. I honestly did. But he just said, oh, that's just a girl from class. This man is the worst gaslighter on the planet. <laughs> okay, but she deserved it after what the shit he put her through. Or after the shit she put him, him through, bro. The first two movies, I think the shit that he didn't touch on was the fact that was the fact of all the toxic shit she did to him. He's only touching on like certain moments, but she done did this nigga so dirty. It's not even funny, bro. Mary Jane is still an L though. Cause when she was mad at Peter, she had the audacity to tell him that's our kiss. When she was doing the same thing in the last movie with her fiance. Mary exactly. Jane eventually actually forgives Peter, not being petty at all. She comes to him saying she wants to be there for him and she knows he made a mistake and she forgives him. And like I said, Peter was tweaked in this movie. He literally hits her with a, okay, uh, I don't need your help. And since Peter was being so rude to Mary Jane, she thought that the only way to get back at him was to go back to her old ways. Exactly. So she Y'all are having a rough patch in your relationship and you go back to his best friend? What are we doing? Cheats on him with Harry. I, woke up <laughs> I would say I didn't see this coming, but she cheats on someone in every single Spider-Man movie. She's literally. literally three for three. So then now Peter comes to apologize to her. Uh, this is so toxic. He starts saying he loves her and she's like, no, we can't be together. No, no, no. There's someone else. I fall in love with someone else. I woke up Chris But it turns out it was <laughs> Harry who was behind it all and he just wanted to demoralize Peter. But she did actually cheat though. That that was real. So yeah. now to get back at Shout MJ, out Gwen though, Stacy. Back and forth, never stops. Peter take Bro, he could have had Gwen Stacy and he could have had that bitch that was cooking him cookies, man. Gwen Stacy to the bar where MJ works and just starts uh, just I start can't lie, bro. I can't lie, bro. Peter takes even Gwen when to the bar where MJ works and just start. Even when I was kid, this was fine shit, bro. Even when I was a kid, this was good milk, bro. Astronomical milk. Even as a kid, bro. Oh my god, that this was some good milk. It's uh, just starts dancing with her. Definitely the most cringe sequence in the movie. Gwen Stacy honestly deserves so much better in every single movie. If it's not her back getting broken or her best friend dying, it's this. And I know I made that Chris Breezy joke a second ago, but Please. Peter, Peter actually slaps her. He actually did. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Eventually, again, Mary Jane gets kidnapped. And again, she saves herself. I'm telling you all that forearm strength. And both of her exes team up to stop the villains. Harry dies, though. So I guess she chose the right one. So the movie ends with Peter and MJ, I guess, forgiving each other or something. I don't know. It's pretty vague. They just kind of hold hands and smile at each other. And I could presume they lived happily ever after. As y'all can see, though, the 2002 MJ is clearly the most toxic woman ever. But it's not just her. All Mary Janes are like this. There's a 1994 MJ. She was crazy. She literally jumped off a building so Peter could prove that he loved her. And then Which there was, was that nuts. one time she got sent to another dimension and she eventually came back, but it turned out that wasn't her. That was a water pump. Which makes sense because the bitch wasn't crazy. The real MJ actually got remarried in the uh -huh. other dimension to a Had dude kids named with a whole other nigga. about Peter Parker. Fucking then there's Paul. the new MJ, Zendaya, who I wasn't going to mention at all, but as I was recording this video, the trailer for her new movie came out. <laughs> This nigga basing MJ, this nigga basing Zendaya's MJ being toxic because she did a movie, uh, 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 she did a role in a whole different movie being a thought, bro. That's nuts. And clearly, she's the worst one of all. I really <laughs> thought she was super, super innocent. But no, she was getting tag teamed in that trailer. Mary Jane. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Come on, bro. You can stay on the movie tag, bro. That's, that's not in the same universe. Being a thought, it has to be a canon event. My condolences go out to Tom Holland. As I said earlier, though, MJ is the most toxic woman in the universe. My fellas watching this try to avoid women like this. Because even if you give them the world, the second they go to another dimension, they'll leave you for a guy named Paul. And moral mm -hmm. of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, bro. I Mary Jane, I cannot stand her, bro. 